Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. In today's video, we are going to focus in on this coin right here. This is a 2009 Native American dollar coin. And the reason why this coin is special is because it marks the transition from the Sacagawea dollar coins to the Native American dollar coins, which was part of a relaunch and rebranding of the coin series. So legislation passed uh, enabling rotating reverse designs on each year. So this will be the first video in a series of videos that I'm going to do i'm going to try and release one every week but we'll touch upon the different reverse designs of the sacagawea dollar coins also known as the native american dollar coins which started in 2009 and also included in this video if you're interested stick around for the second half we'll show off these two one euro coins this one comes to you from germany this one comes to you from belgium so two cool one euro coins to share with you uh, so stick around for the second half of the video if that interests you now let's get back to these two right here the reason why i've got the one on the left and the one on the right is to evidence and to show the transition between the changes in the reverse designs so this one right Right here on the left is dated 2008 so this is the last year that you'll see the date and the mint mark on the obverse of the coin starting in 2009 those get switched over to the edge of the coin it's also the last time we use this reverse design which was made in 2000 all the way up until 2008 now there was some kind of branding issues that were going on these coins weren't as popular as people thought they would be so they started to rebrand it in 2009 and that's where we get this design right here and interestingly the mintage in 2009 is very high especially for the dollar coin series so there are 39 million 200,000 of them that were made at the Philadelphia Mint there are an additional 35 million at 700,000 that were made at the Denver Mint and a total of 2.1 million proof coins were made that have the S mint mark on them and again all of those mint marks are going to be located on the edge of the coin I won't, I won't really spend much time looking at the edge of the coin because my camera uh, can't really transition that focus to see all the details on the edge of the coin. But I assure you that they are there. If it was not there, I might have a more valuable error coin. So let's talk about the actual reverse design that we see right here. So the reverse design for this year depicts the three sisters method of planting. A Native American woman is shown planting seeds in a field of beans, corn, and squash. This was designed by and sculpted by Norman E. Nemeth. So very cool design here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see even better. So the three sisters uh, method of planting, they plant these three crops together, beans, corn, and squash. And by doing so, that kind of helps each one of them out. Uh, the obverse of the design uh, features the same portrait of Sacagawea, although some modifications were performed. The date and the mint mark were moved to the edge of the coin. And with this relaunch right here, uh, it was required that all of the uh, coins that all of the dollar coins that were made at least 20 percent of them had to be uh, native american dollar coins so at the same time this coin was being produced the presidential dollar coins were being produced as well so that's why uh, the mintages on this one are high because they're linked directly to the mintages on the presidential dollar coin series which was still very popular in 2009 so that's a nice look at these three sisters design right here now, going forward, we see all kinds of different designs that I'm going to capture in videos. I'll try and do one a week. We'll starting with this one right here, 2009. Then we'll go to 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all the way up until 2018. And maybe by that point, we'll even get a 2019 uh, new reverse design coming out. All right, so that is the uh, Three Sisters Planting um, dollar coin. Very high mintage for dollar coins. So unfortunately, yours is unlikely to be worth a lot of money unless it's in super great condition. Now let's transition to these two right here. Uh, these two are both euro coins from relatively popular countries. So the mintages on them are quite high. We'll start with this one right here. Let me zoom in and adjust the lighting for you. So what you see on this coin, it comes to you from Belgium. We see a portrait in the left profile of Albert II. It's encircled by the 12 stars of Europe, among which is situated his uh, monogram, which is a capital A, and the Roman numeral two. So A for Albert, two for the second. So we see that located right here. 
we see the date of the coin, uh, 1999, and then that's the portrait that I was talking about earlier. Now, as far as the mintages of this coin, there are 160 million that are going to have that 1999 date on them. There were some that are dated uh, 2000 as well, but those were made for sets only. 2000 and 2001 were made for sets only. Then back to 2002, they made those for general population, and those are 90 million. So uh, the highest year by far for this Belgium one euro coin is the first date that they have, which is 1999. So very nice looking uh, one euro coin from Belgium. Let's put it side by side with this one right here. This one's got some even uh, cooler security features to it because it's got those lines uh, going across them. So this coin comes to you from Germany. Now the mintages on this one are astronomically high and that's due in part because they're made at a bunch of different mints. We can see that this one down here at the bottom, see that little A down there? I'll get my pen to point it out. That A right there is actually a mint mark. These coins were made at the A, D, F, G, and J mints. Now, there are some missing letters in there, as you see. That's because the Germany has stopped using some of their mints, so they only keep the mint letters for the existing uh, mints that they're using, so they don't change the letters around uh, to every year a mint gets canceled out or they stop using it. So at the A mint mark, there were uh, 367 million of these that were made. At the D, 372, 439. At the F, 266. At the G, 372. At the J. So there are hundreds of millions, uh, over a billion actually, of these one euro coins that were made when you combined all those different mints. Now, as far as the image, it's uh, quite simple. It's an eagle, which is a traditional symbol of German sovereignty. It's surrounded with the 12 stars of Europe. This coin was made from 2002 until 2006. Starting in 2007, they uh, made a different map for this side of the coin. That's the same case for all of the Euro coins. They made a more stylized version of the, uh, the reverse map that you see right here. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for the Euro coins. Let's quickly recap about the uh, United States Native American dollar coin that we looked at. We looked at this one right here, which features uh, the planting method of the three sisters. So what you do for that planting method is you combine the beans, corn, and squash, and that enables them to grow better together. Uh, so this coin right here was a pivotal point in the Native American series because it's the first time they switched from this design. So this design was used from 2000 until 2008. Then 2009, we got this design in a new design every year. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to try and do one of these uh, Native American design coins every year, try and do them in order from 2009 to 2018, and we will see how it goes. Hopefully people enjoy the videos. Thank you very much for watching this. Uh, best of luck coin collecting out there. If you're interested, hit that subscribe button and watch some of these other videos on the channel. Thank you very much, everyone. Enjoy.